This looks like a bunch of dust bags. Machino, Stuart Weitzman, Lauren Ralph Lauren dust bag, Jimmy Choo, Chanel. <laughs> oh my god. That's Ralph Lauren. That's a nice dust bag. Hopefully we find the things that belong in these dust bags. Shadow. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? You want a stick? You want to put a stick? <laughs> you gonna do it? Come here! Come here, buddy. Come here. You <laughs> crazy guy. Can I see a stick? Let me see a stick. Let me see. Let me. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want me to catch you? <laughs> Not gonna happen, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's another beautiful day. We've had rain off and on for the past week and it's been going crazy but yet another day at the thrift traders lair and uh we still have a lot to go through i know you can't see it because the sun this is probably better <laughs> uh so everything all these tubs i'm telling you there was a lot that came out of this huge huge storage unit so this was the last rack that we were attempting to work through so I've got plenty more to do there this rack is all new everything here I wish I had a wider angle lens so you could see it all instead of being so up close but everything here those three racks full of tubs I haven't been through at all all of these all of these stuff that we've got to go through I have no clue and then all of these racks, these three racks, plumb full of stuff. And then over here, right here, those three racks, plumb full of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty obvious. I've got a lot to go through. And we're going to just go through it together. That's what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to start where I left off, and we're going to just keep digging. So hopefully we find something of incredible value. Uh, off the top, looks like a bunch of wrought iron stuff. The problem with this is, well, okay, that's just a candle sconce. But some of this stuff, I think it's going to have pieces that go with it. Either glass pieces. Look at this. I know you guys can't see it that close up because of the not so wide angle lens. But right here, this thing. Uh, it mounts on the wall like this. You've got all of this, and then you have this big ring here. And you're going to have, likely, a big glass canister-looking thing where you set a candle inside of it. And I think that's what we've got here is a pair of those. So we're going to have to hold on to this stuff until we find what, it belong what belongs to it. There's that. That's going to be a challenge. Stuff like this, guys, I just lauded up in one big lot i try to hold on to some of the nicer stuff like this until i go through everything hopefully i find at least three more to make a set but overall what's left in here is just a bunch of random stuff so this unfortunately is going to be i think trash but let's look at what it is roto never even heard of it some type of dust bag i've got a trash bucket sitting right here. This looks like a bunch of dust bags. Oh. Machino. Hopefully we find the things that belong in these dust bags, but I'm kind of doubting it. Okay, see, this could be something. I have no idea. Another dust bag. Stuart Weitzman. Lauren Ralph Lauren dust bag. If these weren't, like... Moderate to severely stained, I'd try and sell them, probably. Jimmy Choo. Chanel. <laughs> oh, my God. Machino. Donna Karen. Imperial quality floor shine. Machino. She really likes Machino. That's Ralph Lauren. That's a nice dust bag. I might actually have to pull some of these out and make a lot. See, this is all nasty and dirty. Giuseppe. Giuseppe Zanotti. Zanotti. Okay. Sergio Rossi. Donald Pliner again. There's a ton of dust bags. Donald Pliner. Donald Pliner. Okay. Here's another one of these. We got two. 
three. We're missing the fourth. Corel. That's pretty. Pretty Corel stuff. Walgreens. That's just going to be in a big lot of stuff. Made in Britain. How many things do you find that are made in Britain? Not many. Not many. Another dust bag. Just when I thought I was through with all of them. This one's inside out. There it is. Four times. And that is it. Right there. Next box. No telling what we're going to find. Let's see what we have here. Another issue. I mean, other than the fact that I can't read that. It's made in Portugal. Lid. Do we have it? <laughs> Who knows? That's a struggle with this storage unit. Hand-painted Laura Ashley. Made in Thailand. That's nice, but does anything else go with it? I mean, it's a picture. Usually you've got cups and stuff like that. This, just a vase. This right here is International Silver Company, Silver Plate. Usually I do well just lotting a bunch of that stuff up together. I actually have lid to this, so we'll hold on to that for future use. And now we've got a nice little tub. Got a couple small tubs here, so let's just go through this one first and see what we've got. Oh, man. Okay. Not broken. Hey. Okay. you got to be careful with some of this stuff because some of it can be worth some major money. Catherine's Collection. Made in Philippines. We're going to have to look this thing up. I've already sold out of this storage unit. A few pieces of just decor. I think it was Halloween related for about 300 bucks. So these are nice. But what do they go to? Is it just decor? Probably. Ooh. Okay. So here's the thing. I know she collected Wayne Klesky stuff. And Wayne Klesky is expensive. So. The problem is going to be when handling this stuff, just kind of keeping its integrity and looking for any kind of tag. I'm not seeing a tag on this one in specific, but this is what his stuff looks like. Okay. I mean, you'd look at it and be like, ah, oh, that can't be worth much. And then next thing you know, it's worth a lot. Okay, these are just tiny little candle holders. And then we've got just more trinket style stuff. Looks like this is an Easter lot. If I was to be betting. Magpie. Created by Dana Brooks. Wow. Somebody makes a bird's nest and sells it. Same thing here. This could be a Wayne Klesky uh, top to something. That's the thing. is like It's so strange. Some of the stuff that's worth money. But you never know. You really never know. That's why we do this business. And that's why I do this business. I, I, I enjoy the hunt and searching for you know, collectibles and things that help me pay the bills, guys. That's, that's really, this is my job. This is my living. This is how I make it all work for my family. So it's pretty important. See, now that, I don't think that's going to be anything, but it's cool. So what I'll do is I, I call through this stuff off camera and I try to find things of value enough for me to mess with on eBay. And I also have auctions both on YouTube and on Facebook. The Facebook auction is local, but we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, Trader Auctions on YouTube and that's where we auction off a lot of a lot of our finds. So if you guys are interested in any of this, head on over there. The description to the channel, or the link to the channel is down in the description. So, hippity hop. Now that was handmade. That's cute. And I would assume this one is too. Yep. So, there we go. That's That was an Easter themed tub. This one's going to be just a grab bag special. Looks like. These are rings to probably curtain rod rings, maybe? All of those. 
this stuff guys I'm honestly not trying to keep so I've just been tossing it these things can go in a nice little lot see that that's weird it's got a tag a price tag of 12 bucks so this stuff somebody's gonna want it they can de decorate with that same thing with this I don't think I don't know if anybody's gonna want it but these will go in a floral decor lot. There's a bunch of them, actually. Some of them are kind of cute. The rest of this, honestly, guys, is just trash. I'm going to hold on to the tub, though. A couple more tubs. Let's take a look at what we've got here. That is metal, people. And uh, pretty. I guess it's a planter, I'm supposing. A bunny rabbit planter. Oh yeah, the old school bookshelves. <laughs> I honestly don't think anybody would have any interest in those, but I'm always surprised too. This right here, I think goes with the set maybe? I don't know. Andrea by uh, Sadek. Made in Korea. Andrea by Sadek. Okay. Something I'll have to look up. Right here, honestly, trash. This right here. And guys, like I was saying about the, that's strange. They put an egg inside of a pumpkin. <laughs> this, this could be reused, honestly. It's just a candle holder is what it is. But a lot of this stuff that I'm realizing with candles or this kind of stuff, I'm just either giving it away or throwing it away one of the two and honestly uh, we found tons of candles I'll show you that here in just a minute found tons of candles but they're all melted so we've been giving those away for people that remanufacture like candles and things of that sort and, and people use them people look them up that is it for that I'm gonna get this cleaned off and we're gonna go to this one Next tub. Okay. That frame is actually kind of nice. Oh, look, here's more candles. These, fortunately, haven't been melted by the heat of the storage unit. And it looks like somebody was being sweet. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what to do with this kind of stuff, guys. This is this trash to me. This would be Christmas lot. Okay, why would that be forty dollars? That's the next question. I have. The Living Bible, man. They use this, which is a good thing, a very good thing. Um. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it got the use that it deserves to look in this condition. Uh, but, you know what? I'm not one to judge. As long as they used it, opened it, read it, that's good in my book. What do we got here? Sound bites, just junk stuff, really. It's a gourd. And there's a lot of just random home decor stuff. Look at this. What am I going to do with that? Uh, dolls. People with dolls would uh, take care of that for sure. Kerns, seven dollars fifty cents. Don't know if that has any use to anyone anymore. And then we've got this. It looks like it might just be broken. So sounded pretty at one time. Yay, next box. And I would be surprised if this is not Christmas ornaments. I will be very surprised. But we've got Christmas decor of one sort or another. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it still smells, kind of. I don't know if anybody's going to want that stuff. It's just potpourri. Potpourri. And this. Okay, okay. We got stuff underneath all this. Hang on. 
random. He just tossed it in here, y'all. Look at this. That's pretty. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well done, well done. I don't mean burnt. Down here. <clears throat> it doesn't look like anything of like extraordinary collectibleness. Like you don't have any Christopher Radko in here. You don't have any like really nice. I mean these are nice. Don't get me wrong. This is hand blown. But as far as Patmar made in Japan. Okay so that's something interesting. But overall I don't see anything that's catching my eye. Nice stuff though. And this tub looks like it's completely full of a lot of random home decor stuff. That looks like it's supposed to look like a primitive pot of some sort. These look a little scary. It's all kind of just shoved, shoved in here. This looks pretty. Have no idea who the maker of that is, but it's nice. Made in Portugal. Can't tell past that. This thing is wrought iron. Nice mirror. Hey guys! <laughs> this is for a candle. Same thing with these, but these are kind of nice, to be honest. Kind of very nice. Um, they hang. You put candles in there. Those are really nice. I've got a pair of them. There's the other. I don't know what this is. Fish jug, fish jar. Just a candy jar. Actually, I said I only had a pair, but I have three of them. This goes out of it. There's a third right there. This thing. Don't have a clue what it goes to or what it's for. That's old, whatever it is. And this right here. Sony AC adapter. Wallace. It broke. Which is really strange. I, I've never known somebody to put that on plastic. But I'll have to make sure that that's not sterling. It does not look like it. But you never know. And now we get to go through this trash can. And we've got, I guess, two, maybe three more of these to go through at some point. And this is packed full of pillows. But the interesting thing in all of this is some of these, that's Pottery Barn. Some of these are really nice. This one is Pottery Barn, Prima Loft, Luxury Down Alternative. And some of these aren't so nice at all. So I don't know what to do with all these pillows that aren't so nice. That's Pottery Barn, and in good shape. I have sold a throw pillow out of this storage unit for $150 on eBay. So I, I gotta be careful what I'm looking up and what I toss to the side that's Pottery Barn again this is probably the same it's a matching set oh we got another matching set down here this is the last of it look at these these look really nice and I'm unsure who they are but we're about to find out uh, Pierre Frey never heard of it but who knows that could be some money right there, a pair of matching pillows. I'm going to set them all right back in here and deal with them here in a little while. I'm trying to hold on to all the bedding stuff, put it in one centralized location, and then go through it all together so that I can piece together sets. That's what I'm hoping to find is a bunch of sets of like bedding sets. Now we get to dig through this and let me tell you this thing was heavy getting it on this table. 
I have no idea what to expect, but we're going to start right here, and I can already tell you some of this is going to be nice stuff. Very nice stuff. So, this ain't worth much, I don't think. Still cute, though. Easter. This is what I saw, and I am just in awe of. Okay. So, we got to figure out what is going on with this and there's something on the bottom it says made in Philippines okay this looks so much like Ryan Klesko it's not even funny but I'm not seeing anything off the top I'm not seeing any markings but man I would be surprised if that wasn't either way very pretty very pretty here's a bunny don't know who he's made by that's cool she liked the primitive style of, of what, decor the more folk decor I guess is what it's called okay now to see why in the world this thing was so Heavy. It's gonna be trash. Got some stuff in here. Okay, now I'm starting to see what cat food. What for? Why? I'm starting to see now why this was so heavy. <laughs> hey, we got some trash bags. We can hold on to those. Take a look at this. These are rocks. Why she kept these rocks, I'm not sure. Um, 1997 Hens Studio Incorporated. I don't know. We got like three of these rocks. I don't know what good they are. That's just a big old chunk of marble or something, I think. This used to be a pretty uh, wind chime, I think. But it's missing now. I wonder if somebody could repurpose that for something. Who knows? But there you have it, folks. We got three big old chunks of concrete. You see one, two, and then the third one over there where we set it. This thing, although it is broken right here on the top, I think it's pretty cool and will go well sold locally, I think. Because no matter what, you, people would still decorate their gardens or something with this. I mean, shoot. You kidding? That still has worth. You can't tell me it doesn't. It's a basket of stuff. And we've got to go through this. Just a random pillow. Who knows if we'll find the rest of that. This is cool. And I would be willing to bet that this right here is actually authentic. An authentic Mardi Gras mask. Or opera mask, I guess. You might be able to call it as well. It's on a stick. So... I think that's for two different moods, right? Two separate moods, is that how it works? Um, we got some old clothing in here, or vintage clothing. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with the clothing. I'm going to pull all the clothing out, and I'll look through it on off camera. But, let's get through this real quick. This is guest, this is guest, uh, vintage guest jean jacket. So, I mean, I know that there's going to be some decent stuff in here. So, I'm definitely going to have to go through it. Let's see what else is in here. This might just be a basket full of garment. Um, yeah, it's looking like it. I don't know what this is. That's interesting. But, yep, this is something I'll have to go through off of camera. Looky there, it's another, another one of these thingies. So, looky here. More pillows. I bet this is Pier 1. Could be wrong. Pottery Barn. So, obviously they enjoyed Pottery Barn and Pier 1. Oh. I wonder if this is a Triple D Ranch. I'm not sure. That's nice though. It's leather. That's 
seen better days. Here's a pillow, not half bad. And see, a lot of these, I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I mean, it's stained up a little bit. This is a down pillow. A lot of these are down pillows. I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if people can still use them as inserts or what the case is. Like, look at here. Brand new Pottery Barn. She paid, okay, not too bad, uh, 12 bucks each. That's $24. Hello, more pillows. Some of these are vintage Ralph Lauren, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, just probably about three or four more pillows inside there that we didn't even look at. But these, at least, you know, for the most part, these stayed in decent condition. The stuff that was in here, because it didn't get dusty and messed up. But... We have to do something with this stuff at some point. Maybe just have a nice big bedding auction or something. Who knows? But that's how it goes. Lots of bedding. And then we've got these nice little iron. This one right here is iron and wood, and they're just candle sconces, but they're uh, reindeer. So there's a third one back down there. I don't know. Probably sell these local. Hopefully they sell well. Uh, I I feel like they they're nice. Absolutely nice. Well made, and uh, they got a nice patina on them as well. So with this thing right here, other than the fact we've got some holly bush looking things, <laughs> inside is a bunch of wrapping paper, and I'm curious to know. I see several sealed. Wrapping papers, I'm curious to know just how vintage they are, because vintage wrapping paper does have a market. Right now I'm trying to get these things out. Again, all of this stuff is going to go into a nice big lot. Wow. I paid nearly $40 a piece for these each. There's three of them. That's $120 bucks. you go buy it new. And really, the only thing with these is... They need to be dusted. That's it. It's still new for se, per se, I guess. But let's take a look at just how much in the form of wrapping paper. Real nice tissue paper. Okay, this is real nice. Real nice tissue paper. <laughs> Some more real nice tissue paper. It's not... It, <laughs> What if it was fake ugly tissue paper, huh? Instead of real nice tissue paper. Hallmark, all occasion gift wrap. So, I don't know. I don't see anything crazy in here. Okay, this is Hallmark as well. If I saw... That's pretty old. Gordon Fraser, wrapping paper, printed in England. Yeah, that's pretty old right there. But... If I saw trademarked or copyrighted stuff, this is Winnie the Pooh. Stuff like that, but in vintage, you know. Then we'd be talking. Oh, this is really nice stuff. So I'm going to sell it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's this is contact paper. Uh, cows. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll probably sell all of this. Has one lot right here. All of it all together. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. 